So which one should we start with with the Lions? Start at the top. Go with uh, ownership. Well, actually, yeah, do it ownership. I mean, it starts at the top. Okay. Lions ownership got a B minus. Uh, grades that stand out around the league. Cardinals ownership got an F. Yeah, they've had some issues. Steelers ownership got an F. Oh. A's went to... Maybe the players are upset that they even thought of messing with Mike Tomlin. Uh, B minus, I'm surprised that it's that low. Well, I I was too when I saw it. Now, that's why I hesitated going with that one the first because I think that the factors that go into it are things that ownership absolutely controls. So, for instance, if you look at catering, mm-hmm. what do they get for catering? Uh, I got a slide here. Hold on for a second. I don't know. Do you know? I thought it was like a C minus. I thought, I thought if yeah, one of the one of the reporters had all the nutrition. Stuff I know. I've got the whole league. Food slash cafeteria. The Lions get a C in food slash cafeteria. Okay, so, so upgrade upgrade the food. That's that's <laughs> uh, something that they they could absolutely do, right? I mean, that's. How do you feel about the food here at the station? At the station? At the station? Yeah. What, the bistro? Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a taco bar. Well, it has been a while, but here's the thing. I don't think it's the station's responsibility to provide food. No, it probably isn't. So if I played on an NFL team, it I is. I think you need to start making some demands. You're Scott the Gator Anderson. I think you'd perform better on a full stomach. No. Nope. You guys Actually, bring we up know some if, if, we, if, we, if anything's going to happen around here, it's going to be because the big dog asked for it. But. Uh, all right. Head coach, Dan Campbell, A+. plus. Dan Campbell gets an A-plus from the players, which how many other A-pluses are there? There's a couple. Um. The Chiefs, Andy Reid got an A+. Plus. Kevin O'Connell, Minnesota got an A+. Plus. So wait, this is the coach that we took calls for weeks and will continue to take calls about whether or not he should go for it on fourth down. The players love the guy, which I guess shouldn't be a surprise. Correct. Yeah. So the, and the reason I, I say that I can see whether it's the B- minus for, for ownership. Look at the things they can control. Food and cafeteria is a C. Mm-hmm. Nutritionist, dietitian is a C+. Plus. These are things they can fix. The locker room is a B minus. Yep. They don't like the locker room. Well, you can upgrade that, and that would, you know, certainly go a long way. Everything else for them are, are Bs or higher. Like they they seem to really like the coaching staff. The strength coaches at the A minus. Obviously, the head coach gets the A plus. The weight room gets good scores, B plus. Training staff, training room, those are Bs. But the things that you can control. Here's some interesting ones from around the league. Treatment of families. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Treatment of families, the Detroit Lions get a B, which is one of the highest grades in the league. Eighth out of a th- out of 32. Okay. But there are some pretty damning grades. The Bengals, treatment of families, F minus. Oh, my. Oh my. Is there is there such a thing? I didn't know. The New England Patriots, <laughs> I mean, treatment I, of families. I, I, I went to E. I mean. F minus. For the Patriots. That's worse than Pittsburgh the Pittsburgh Steelers, treatment of families, F minus. Oh. Washington Commanders, treatment of families, F minus. Oh. Now I'm looking at these grades, treatment of families around the league. There are a lot of D's and F's. Oh. There is one A, that's the Dallas Cowboys, an A for the Dolphins, an A for the Vikings, A minus for the 49ers. But who's got the best food cafeteria? I'm a free agent. I'm looking for the best spread. That apparently would be the Dolphins or the Eagles. They both have A's in food slash cafeteria. Uh, Weight room. That's what I'd be looking for. I'm a big weight room guy. What do we got here? B uh, plus and it ranks 12th. Lions are 12th. Bills. A lot, a lot of good weight rooms out there. Yep. Apparently. Bills, A plus. Bears, A. Dallas, A. Packers A, Jags A, Vegas Raiders weight room A plus, Dolphins A plus. When I see B plus, the Lions they like it. Yeah, not much you can improve on it. But apparently, there's a lot of great weight rooms in the NFL. Yep. 
It's one one area of strength. But and the lines treat the families with respect. I kind of want to. I kind of want to ask the. Fa- let's take ten texts. What's Sorry. that based on? What's the weight room based no, on? No, no, the the family thing. Uh, just access to games. I, I don't say, even know because how often uh, are you supposed to interact with the player's family? Well, I they, would, they do have a whole area when you walk into the to the stadium. There's a whole area set up for the players' families. So it's I imagine it's how they're treated while they're there. You know the accessibility to whatever it is to to food and beverage and and the seats and and things of that. Yeah, nature. I think it's they want tickets and they want they want to be treated, you know, with uh, sweet access and things like that. Where did Kansas City rate with the treatment of families? And uh, girlfriends. Right. <laughs> Treatment of families. Superstar girlfriends. Yeah. Outside of Kelsey and Mahomes, how, how'd they do? D plus. You know what that means? Mm. That means Brittany is paying for the suite. That means Mahomes ain't getting that suite free. I, I Something tells me Mahomes gets a suite for free out of his contract. Yeah, well, it's a contract. You know what? It, it might be only Brittany gets a suite free. Right. Because yeah. they the whole they, Mahomes family might give him an A, but the rest of the team is like, oh, yeah. how right come there. she? Like Chris Jones, is like, yeah, you know why I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the Jerry Steen's like, I'm out of here. 